today begins with us headed south on I-77 to Cambridge, Ohio. We've got a couple of fun things set up there. Eh, good thing most of them are indoors. So once we get uh, into Cambridge, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, we're getting near Cambridge. This is Route 40, historic Route 40. Not too many people know about that. It's the first national road. Getting off here and we'll head into Cambridge. We'll see you on the other end. See how hilly this is. Imagine if there, this was down here. You can see the how low it was, and then they had to build it up. And so, as they built it up, a lot of these buildings lost their first floor, especially the older ones. A lot of these are new. However, there's three or four. Glenn Old Man with the cam, and today we've got a treat for you. We're down in Cambridge, Ohio, which is, oh, about 120 miles south of Cleveland. It's about 70 miles east of Columbus and about 70-some miles north of Marietta, Ohio. So today we're going to visit the historic underground of Cambridge, Ohio. Some of these fantastic buildings. Guernsey National Bank. And you can see the courthouse just peeking up above the other buildings over there. It is a little rainy, but that doesn't matter to us. We're going to be underground most of the morning. Okay. So what we can do is we're going to get set, head on over. And here's where we're going to start. Mary Beth is leading us across the street and will give us the guided tour. They are, yes. <laughs> Circa 1879, it was a house initially, and he built on the foundation. The second oldest building. Okay, we're going in. Unfortunately, we have to go through Ellie's cottage to get to everything. She has some beautiful stuff here. If you're ever down here, you have to check it out. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, if you're ever in Cambridge, Ohio, you have to check out Ellie's Cottage. She has so much, and we have to get a flag there for Mom. Exit. 
We're headed down. I'll fast forward with this part as we make our way down to the original first floor. right here, and then Billy Avenue is back behind me. So Billy Avenue is where we were facing when we started. This is the side street, 7th Street. Um, so this building, as I alluded to earlier, was built in 1879. It served multiple purposes. This space in its early history served as a laundry as Chinese immigrants were migrating west to, to California and places like that. Many of them that didn't stay the here in Cambridge because there was, yes, sir. You mean I brought my wife to a Chinese laundry for her birthday? You did bring your wife to a Chinese laundry for her birthday. <laughs> okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nothing says romance like Chinese laundry. But as they were traveling with us, um, they found that Cambridge was a wonderful area to set up because they could make a great deal of money. There were several very wealthy families that lived in the area. And Wouldn't laugh. It needs to be a civil defense shelter in the Cold War. This section is dated back to 1840, and as we were told, the reason they know that is because on this door, there was a lock mechanism, which was only manufactured from 1842 to 1848, so they could date it. You can see this is the corner of the building. That would have been the front on Wheeling, correct? Yeah. Oh. Chestnut? Chestnut? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to see a dead body. No dead bodies. <laughs> the one Elko, there was a pile of something there. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. No, it is starting to deteriorate, as you can see. But that would have been the old windows oh, uh, or the front. That would have been the main entrance. Yeah, I get into the wallpaper. There's some stuff on the walls, and everybody comes back. Okay. Oh, we have a visitor. And of course, that goes over to the next building. You can see how they supported the street and the walk. We're going to walk back there. We're going to go through the. We're going to go through the door here. We're going to walk out. The side here. Be careful. Oh, the original stoop. Oh. Delivery shoots. Get a, there you go. Those were delivery shoots. They would send 
Deliveries down through here. And that's where we were before. Yeah. <laughs> so the floors under our feet are the original hardwood. This was the original uh, storefront, as as in, the which didn't face the front. This was actually the side. We'll take a look at that upstairs when we go up. The original sidewalk. Again, a delivery chute. delivery shoot and of course the wall that would have been a stairway that went down to the other section and this is the side entrance door Six over six. Transom. And this would have been Wheeling Avenue. The original brick way would have been. This would have been the original entrance. We saw it from the other side. And there was another window there, which they blocked up. This is very, very interesting. This would have been going into the shop. At one point, the original layer is this right here. Uh, it's kind of the black, looks like little spotted flowers. And then there was a second layer that's kind of a burgundy. We're not sure what was on the burgundy. You can't really see it. And then the third layer is probably my favorite. Really it's a real pretty floral print pattern. Right. Um, so that's why we asked you to know, touch the walls. Because the oils, as you know, probably know, the oils in our hands can damage the walls and damage um, the wallpaper that's on the walls. But they did take samples of all three. Also on the walls, and probably one of my other favorite things, is there is graffiti on the walls. We did not put the graffiti there. Um, previous the owners, previous tenants, previous individuals put the graffiti on the wall. Um, more often than not, when they're building the space, you're going to cover that up anyway. So what the guys would do is they would write their measurements on the wall. It sounds like something David yeah. would do. Write the measurements on the wall, and then you would cover it up anyway. Um, so you our house on the <laughs> Like a cheat sheet I can send you? Unfortunately, well, I was gonna, you can see where the wood was put down. I don't care, you can take me. Won't be the first time. But your, your, whole, um, your whole presentation... Like, well, it would be interesting to have some of the key points. Is, yeah. yeah, to talk into them. 
Well, I have the key point. If I don't have them handy, well, I can send them to you. If you send them to me on my phone at some point, I'll just forward them to him, and yep. then you can do like a voiceover on the video. Or if he's got an email, I can send it to him. Sure. Send it to all of his. Well, I'm One page bullet point key points. <laughs> the guys writing over there on the wall, they, they don't even write like that. That's almost like old brown handwriting. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Did I look behind this door? Carefully, yeah. I trust you. <gasps> That's Careful. Like, I hold trust things over. <laughs> no, you're fine. You didn't like bang it. Some of the graffiti they were talking about, written on the wall. Again, it was a market. It was the Noble Family Market. Oh, there's a design up there. You can see that. Let's see if I can get closer. And was it a carpentry shop? It Somewhere? could have potentially been. There's a lot that's not known about what it was, but potentially. Oh, there's layers of wallpaper. Yeah, I was looking at the over here. They've got a saw drawn. Yeah, I saw that, but did you see this? It looks like it's a... Yeah, a finial. Yeah. yeah. I hadn't noticed that one before. That's cool, too. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you've got a really cool this light. This original house. Here? Yep. At what point did they build on top? They literally just built the brick on top. Okay. Some of the old so wallpaper. Again, that was what they used to date it. Um, they filled in. And then they built the up in there. Okay. And they kind of filled and this And then the market here eventually, it operated for probably another five to ten years and then it closed because you know, more structures yeah. were becoming street side. It wasn't convenient to be down here when you just ran into the other space. So. <laughs> Me. He's still filming. Oh. What do you think? Sorry. Oh, he's all right, right there. Everybody, I want to make sure we're losing the ball and sister in law, and it's fair game with her. Okay. And we were on the other side of that. You know what? History is amazing. History really is amazing. Thank you again, Mary Beth. And actually, this is the side of the building we were down underneath. The sidewalk. They raised the road up about 15 feet. You can see the hill over there. And then there's another hill coming up this way. What they did was, rather than have it be hilly coming through town and all garbaged up, they actually raised the road. And all of these buildings lost their first floor. And so that's where the underground comes in. It's only one of three that are historically correct. Beautiful architecture over there. Here is their magnificent courthouse. City of Cambridge.
Civil War monument dedicated to those who served from Guernsey County. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the underground Cambridge and the beautiful structures in the city itself. Okay, Glenn, old man with the cam, saying thank you for joining me. Glad to have you along. You have a great day. <laughs>